You're watching News 24 Live. We are joined in studio this afternoon by Western Province and South Africa under 16 golf sensation Luca Filippi, who recently won the A division of the Rodney Hess tournament on the Junior Glacier Series. We are joined in studio this afternoon by Luca, who's going to tell us a bit more about his career, his aspirations, and the state of junior golf in South Africa. Luca, good afternoon. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you recently turned 16. Um, this tournament that you recently won, I believe you shot a round of 66. Is that normal for someone your age? Uh, I, get off, I got off to a good start, so I think I uh, thought it could be quite easy to get to 66, but in the end result, I was lucky enough to get that score, yeah. So just tell us briefly more about your career, um, how you first came across the game of golf, how you you know, how old you were when you first picked up a club and, and just some of your, your main achievements to date? Um, okay, obviously my dad is a, a very good golfer, so he got me in the game in the early days. Um, I was in my nappies when I first started, hitting those little plastic plastic balls around. Mm -hmm. And um, <coughs> yeah, so he's obviously helped me throughout my life, been there always when I played tournaments, coaching me and and helping me with my game. So, um, and my, my achievements, well, I've played in the Junior British Open in uh, last year. Um, I went to Italy to represent under-16 South African golf. Um, I was the youngest winner of the Royal Cape Amateur um, last year as well. So, yeah, getting off to a good start. And in that tournament, competing against other golfers of all, a all ages? Yeah, it's an under-19 golf tournament, so it was very, very nice to win. Okay. Now, I believe you're a product of the, the Ernie Els Foundation. Um, tell us a bit more about that. Well, I was lucky enough to <coughs> be chosen in 2014 to be selected to play in this foundation, which has really helped me with playing other tournaments that they pay for everything, pay for clubs, pay for your flights and accommodation. So I've been extremely lucky to be part of the Ernie Els Foundation. Okay. On that note, um, South African golf in general uh, at this sort of PGA European level, it seems to be in a bit of a lull. I mean, there was a time not so long ago when we had three South, Af uh, three South African golfers in the top 10. Um, you know, just looking at the world rankings now, I mean, our top ranked golfer is Louis Oosthuizen, he's at 24. Um, Brandon Grace at 40, Ernie else is all the way at 82. What, what do you think the sort of problem has been? Um, that the, like I said, the sort of lull that South African golf seems to be in. Well, I think the the more better players is going to be coming through now. The the junior competition is always a lot stronger, getting mm. uh, into the later days. So, I think in a couple of couple of years' time, the the tournament is going to the competition is going to be very strong, and the the players are going to become stronger on tour as well. 